So the paradigm shift that is absolutely essential for long-term meditation practice is this. We have to begin to recognize that caring for the state of our mind is as important as anything else that we do. We all spend some degree of time throughout the day caring for our teeth, right? We brush for two minutes twice a day, or at least we're supposed to, because on some level we've had the awareness, the recognition that teeth are precious. And yet in these modern busy times, most people are spending little to zero amount of time caring for their most precious resource, which is the mind. So this is what we need to begin to turn a little, to shift a little, if we're going to practice long-term meditation and with some degree of consistency. It's easy to see how the state of our mind impacts our daily life in the microcosm. You had a really bad day at work, something you worked really hard on wasn't real well received, and the drive home uh, can be really grim. The city you live in can look really ugly, the traffic can be really annoying, the sound of your kids' voices as soon as you walk in the door can kind of send you through the roof. If you've had the exact opposite kind of day, something you worked on really hard at work is very well received, the drive home, man, you live in a beautiful city, you walk into your house, the kids leap into your arms and their voices sound like beautiful music. All of this is dependent on the state of our mind, how we relate to, how we experience the world is coming from the mind. And so to spend some degree of time caring for the state of our mind is actually spending some degree of time throughout the course of our days caring for our lives. And you have to have this bit of paradigm shift, this awareness, this recognition, if you're going to make meditation a consistent part of your daily life from here on out, which I hope so much that you do.